Hey guys, it's uh, with much regret today. I just want to announce that uh, I forgot to bring you another stupid 1024 by 768 black bars demo. It's JKS this time around. He owns on this res. We have to watch another player use this goddamn resolution. Hold on, before we do that, let's take a look here. Confirm. I think I'm going to play, I'm going to put these on stretched. It's the same thing. It's just stretched out. I mean, there's really, I just, I just, it, it's just going to be on stretch for the sake of the video. Okay. If you, if you guys would rather use them black bars in the video, I'll, I'll put them, put them in. But I think it's, unless someone says something, I'm just going to do 1024 stretch for the video. Okay. Unless someone says something, you say something, then we'll switch it out. But for now it's stretched. Okay. JKS 1024, 768, 166 ADR on the CT side. I'm switching resolutions. Look at that. Holy moly. 2.39 rating. He farmed. And I always think like, okay, who did he do this verse? He did this versus Alige, Stewie, Grim, Nafli, and Twit. He killed these guys 21 times in one half. You know what I mean? You out-dueled these five players 21 times. I think they should like double your ADR for the quality of the players that you kill. It's kind of nuts when people have halves like that. Yo, check this out. Coaching bug update. As soon as someone made it public, I expected... Uh... Oh, shit. More and more people to start uh, abusing it in the in the future. Um, we we needed uh, Valve to fix it as soon as possible. Uh, and abuse book has been fixed. First, um, we we needed uh, Valve to fix it as start uh, abusing it in the in the future. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully people have uh, stopped now using it. That would Listen be, to this. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't exist well, anymore. Fixed. Has it been yeah, fixed now? Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, so this instance of the book has been fixed. Um, unfortunately, I think there might be more. Ah. I think there might be like two more different instances uh, that we ah. are looking into right now. <laughs> um, so that's great. Um, that's from the HLTV confirmed. If you guys want, I'll just uh, I'll link this. I'll remember to link this. This just aired today, and and Mihao, the uh, referee who kind of uh, uncovered this coaching bug and all these different demos, is saying there might be two more instances of this coaching bug and more coaches that have used it. This period, they've given them like an apology period and a couple of coaches have come out. It's, it's a whole mess. It's a whole complete mess. Um, and it's not over. But we're here to watch some demos. Me and you learning, watching Counter-Strike together, watching demos, hanging out every morning, afternoon, sometimes. I think one, day, one of these days, so this weekend I recorded three videos at once and I dropped them all at 5 a.m. just to see how it would go. And uh, I mean... Like, I mean, we're not, it's not like we're getting tons of viewers, but it's going to be every day. So it's going to eventually come up, but this is not bad for a first day compared to some of the earlier games that we watch that have slowly risen to 1k viewer, uh, 1k views. So it might be a good idea to drop them at 5am like I was doing. So I might take a day where I record two and then upload them at 5am. I don't know what time you guys watch them, but from this, this video, I actually, you know, if you guys like this, I'm going to do this again because I, I think this is good for me. I have a lot to talk about, guaranteed. And it's kind of fun to roast myself, even though it's a little embarrassing. But from here, this is the kind of comment I love. Flynn right here, baby. 21 and 8, C JKS 21 and 8, CD side, Vertigo versus Lick Team Liquid. This is perfect. Thank you, Flynn McRae. That's perfect. I mean, that's all the information I need. It sells me. This is my own YouTube title here. He gave me a YouTube title. It's perfect. That's it. We're jumping right in. Sorry, I have like a cold or something. My nose is like blocked. I don't know what's going on. Let's get into the game. Yeah, I'm going to timestamp it. For you motherfuckers. All right. Okay. We're into the game. We watched Alige play this map. We watched Alige play this map <clears throat> on T side and the entry pathing towards the A site. Now we're going to see how JKS can defend against it. This might be interesting. It's a liege in this game. You know what I mean? I kind of like that. Dedicated a ramp on this setup as well. You know he gets two kills on the pistol. It, it's no, you don't have a 21 and 8 half. You don't get two kills on the pistol. It's a fact. Unless, you're, unless a liege is there, then you just got to fall back and hope your teammate can help you on the retake. I mean, this round's over. There's no way he gets two kills anymore. Who are we kidding? All right. So JKS falling all the way back here. Spawn side and playing off contact. He'll just shoot if his teammate here on the left 
takes a shot. Playing off contact is enormous. If you're ever in a pug, just see what your teammate's holding. Play off his contact whether he likes it or not. But since JKS here is in the deeper angle, you can at least get a free shot off or two. And they got spot. I mean, it's really good info because the the CT sm the smoke there was bad from Liquid. Whoever threw that gets uh, a ruler on the backside. Okay, because that was a bad smoke. That was not a good set. That smoke lost them the round right there for Liquid. And when you're as good as Liquid, you don't want to be losing rounds to smokes. Don't shoot yourself in the foot. Okay, because team damage is on. Okay, interesting flash. You can see the x-ray outline there. And a nice set grenade as well. Just snapshot that, all right? Learned. We can see he prefers automatic fire here on the FAMAS. And one more set smoke for the J-Hall. I forget what we, what we even call that. I haven't played like any vertigo in my pugs at all. Um, and while I was casting at first, I was just saying J-Hall. I've heard a liege call it yellow, but I'm not sure of the hallway exactly what he calls it. I like how every nade he used was nice and passive. From complete cover, didn't expose himself at all, all lined up, every single thing. The flash, the smoke, the HE, excuse me. And here playing off sound cues, that wasn't the bomb I don't think that got dropped. It was just Stewie in a important position. So you see how Liquid, they set up on either side of the smoke to catch the run-ins because every time someone taps the bomb, people just storm through. So they want to, they're trying to hold perimeter while they go for the plant. This time, they're trying to defuse and cover. I mean, this map gets real ugly, but this is, this is the meta right now. Smokes go down, figure out a way to get that cheeky smoke defuse, cheeky smoke plant. And hopefully run out of time in the post plant or defuse a bomb if you're on CT side. Um, yeah, I got to play more Vertigo. Uh, the advanced team that I'm a coach for, very talented roster, up to two zero in the season right now. I've recorded comms. I haven't told them, but I've just recorded comms. I haven't released anything, but I just have it just to review if I need to. But there hasn't been any issues so far. It's been really good. And I think they may may think about playing Vertigo in the future this season, so it might be interesting. I'll learn a lot more about Vertigo. And hey, we learned a lot about Vertigo off that Elyse game last week. Again, the set nade just kind of neatly neatly falls like a light raindrop on top of the A ramp. Covers nice AoE just above their heads. Not too much noise. No jump through required. And JKS just trying to make sure the perimeter of this site is covered. And all the flanks. Three on four, certainly he'll be instrumental. And you can see just how paranoid that he is about these flanks the whole time. Wow, really sharp shooting from JKS. You know he's got more. I mean, we're looking at the very best player in Australia. Let me just quickly, before we even continue... Take a look at the graph here, because this is a team that's been playing against tier 1 teams for a long time, okay? Justin Savage, look how much time, we look, compared some other graphs, look how much time he spent even after coming into the tier 1. How much time he spent above a 1.05 rating. I mean, he really is really good and very consistent overall. I don't know what the hell this is. I think it's called the stalagmite. It's either stalagmite or stalactite. But apart from that... It's all been uh, it's all been ski lifts, okay? Not so much ski slopes, a lot of ski lifts, especially recently. That's the wrong scene. Oh, we're back in the game. Will JKS get the diffused? Oh my God! Hold your breath. Oh, 
Oh no, it ended up in a 1v1. Okay. Guess he had the, he's the hero they needed. Not the one they deserved. The one they needed. He does it all in more. You think with a name like, you know he's humble because his name is Justin Savage. You think with a name Justin Savage, you just, that would be your online moniker instantly. Savage. That'd be it. You wouldn't have to think much about it. JKS like, well, my friends call me Justin and my mom, she used my first name and like, uh, yeah. Savage. Yeah, it's a cool name. Yeah. But people just call me Justin. That's I, I like just, I'm just a regular guy, you know? So humble. Unbelievable. Actually makes me sick. No small feat there. So, so I actually automatic was in um in the Twitch stream the other day after the Elise demo. And I had questions. I was like the one demo with the Vertigo, like learning so much. It was a demo I had a lot of questions myself even after watching. I was like, what do you make of this Elise thing? Like, do you think like is it to me, it looked like a ramp was a lot of chaos, and he made the chaos. He made the chaos look like it had method to it, but it still looked chaotic. Like when Elijah was entering up the a ramp, there's a lot of spams through the smokes, a lot of spams through the walls, a lot of looking for lurks and stuff like that. Like so much smoke play. And automatic said that uh, it was kind of like, yeah, he just he knew a lot of the spam locations, had good pathing and had good timings. And that's pretty much what he boiled it down to. And so now looking at this, now looking at this, I mean, I'd say there's just a lot of merit to being able to find those timings. And, and I guess it, you just got to come into the map with the expectation that right now, right now to be able to win and come out positive and have a good half on either CT or T side, you're going to get some kills through wall bangs and some kills through smoke spams. And there's no real way to game that at the moment. It's really just about how good you are at doing that. Nading different spots is good. So uh, he actually uses HE in the same spot two rounds in a row. And that's conditioning, right? You don't want to stand there if you're on T side. You know, like 30 seconds or so in, he might drop one. Now they see the two grenades. Now that part's clear. So he, he nades out uh, to the right side. Tries to get them to move around, then show them a different lineup. As the rotator, JKS, he's been an all star. Okay, high flash over the generator. And he's he's been so responsible, like a soccer mom, watching the flank, taking care of all these different fights that may or may not come from behind, constantly checking behind him. Like seems like he's a he's a guy who's just impossible to flank. So impressive we've had two full rounds go towards B, and JKS gets so many kills this half. So let's see what he does with that lovely Pokeball this time. One thirty, and the same nid, and it lands. A little present for Grimlock. Grimothy, Grimian. All right, that smoke, I think it's to make it seem like he could be playing in front of it. Just to draw their attention forward. He's in another spot where he can only get some spam damage in. Like Liquid found a good timing where he was alone. And they just try to get flashed into the smoke, but he's in a good spot to play it safe. They, it, they, the key seems to be like, make it seem like there's people there so you, the other team will push through the smoke. I'm talking like Elmer Fudd like now. Yeep, 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 yeep. And then... Pull back to a position where they flash through the smoke and you're actually safe. Slash meta. All right, no, no, nothing difficult there. 
but it's interesting to see that the uh, like 100 thieves jks as dedicated anchor is not playing down the ramp ever he's never peeking down at all and they're having such a clean ct side this gives me hope for this map <laughs> Because if you have to play it like Furia or Liquid or a lot of other teams are playing it where they just feel like, well, we just we just got to put on the mud boots and jump in. Get down the A-ramp, fight early. It felt like that was the way you had to do it. But here we're seeing the 100 Thieves don't really do that at all and are doing just fine, which is cool. Oh, it's a great time for that. Are they pulling back? Grim, that's... Oh, okay. This one's a little bit more stewy than it is Grim. But he's getting consistently good nade damage off there. I think it explode off this contact again. How does JKS change it up on the site? Interesting to see him push through this time around. Looking for lurks. Not afraid as the only player here. But he sees nothing. So he's actually telling his teammates no rotate yet. Which is a big call for him to make. Because they have fully executed off one or two smokes in the previous rounds that we've seen. <gasps> so here's like, yeah, he's telling his teammates now to come. So he knocked their smoke off a little bit, but yeah, it looks like he can't fight too easily. Whoa, that was pretty cool. He kind of moved out of position and then swapped back in. Wow, that was sneaky. I feel like he moved out to be spotted and then actually moved back in. I don't know if he was cognizant of that. I'm sure, I feel like he was, that was pretty slick. He was like fighting until he got spotted and then he just swapped back in so they wouldn't clear him up there. They saw him leave. That's pretty good. I like that. Seven and zero. You know the seven and one is coming. Brazil. The cur a cursed scoreline. I don't even watch soccer. I don't even watch football. So I I'm not attached I'm not attached to these score lines, these traumatic events in Brazilian and European history. I don't know enough about football to be as emotionally invested in these historic matches, in these historic soccer matches. But as an esportsman, I, I, I appreciate it. The fanaticism. The reverence. The history. Okay, a flash retake up the A ramp. I think I like this call. I mean, first of all, it's right when, you know, it's at a point where Liquid are just getting all this free space. They might expect it to come at some point. But I like it because it's just not something that they've ever had to dodge. They've never had to play anti flash for this once. Nobody knows the timing for 100 Thieves to try it, so they gave it a shot. Funnily enough, it's the only round that uh, Liquid end up winning. But I would find it odd if Liquid were given that much space up every single round and 100 Thieves kind of just won the whole half. So, psychologically, this is an, an interesting kind of, in a macro sense, like from the whole team, not just from JKS's micro perspective. It's kind of an interesting... It's kind of a, like an interesting kind of like psychological question mark where we're like, all right, so how are they going to respond to this? Blocks another smoke. No hands on that block. Legal. It's, it's interesting because it's like, well, do 100 Thieves feel like they need to go flash retake again? And they're just going to try the same thing again. Are Liquid going to go up A ramp now that they finally won a round at A? But for the most part, JKS is playing this like a, a Metal Gear Solid security guard. And I mean that in the fondest way possible. Of course, usually those Metal Gear Solid security guards end up getting tranquilized, stabbed in the back, choked out. Made to look like fools. But sometimes they catch you off. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this one. I think JKS is just... He's doing a great job. I think just the way he's playing. He's always patrolling between a couple angles. Floating in the middle of things. Keeping an eye on this or that. We're just responding to the pressure. He's not really sitting, popping up uh, on a headshot angle. Sitting in one position. Do you notice that? 
He's moving between these like three nade lineups. He's not really taking any aggressive angles. Okay, that's the most aggressive he's been. We've never seen JKS get this much action before. All right, and that's a wrap. That's a wrap. That was a pretty exciting round for Justin. Justin, football next savage. We know he gets action. That round, he got some right there. Peaked all the way down. That must have been exhilarating. Every other round, he's relegated to sitting behind a wall. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Back into spawn. All right. Flash just for a little check and another, I think. Oh, that was actually a team flash. Oh my God, just the absolute mow down. That's just beautiful. I mean, it's just perfect. Spray control. The, uh, the, second, and, the second and third guy really just kind of just gave themselves up. They're like, kill me. He didn't have to move at all. I think the key is there that he doesn't get nervous and doesn't like pull down too much. I noticed, I don't know if you guys noticed with Grim, but some of his spray transfers are absolutely ungodly because he can he can spray transfer across a, a flat plane like 45 degrees and his crosshair will appear to have not spray transferred at all. You, do you know what I'm saying? Like he'll go like here to here. Maybe we should do Grim soon and just talk about his aim. His aim is like, he's on liquid and, and literally has some of the best aim on liquid. But he'll spray transfer and it's it's as if he never actually, he's not 15 bullets into his spray. Oh, crazy. But yeah, that's kind of the same idea. Like if he had pulled down too much, nervous that he just like ate half a flash and knows he's getting rushed, then he doesn't get the second, third kill. Because he must have got a dink off there to just melt him. Like an ice cream on a hot sidewalk. Another little peek. I like this, man. Because if I'm going to play A, I would rather play it like this than some of the other ways that I see it being played. Like, I don't want to play like Art and Henny. I don't want to have to do that. I don't, I don't see a lot of consistency in the way that they play it. Of course, it just, like, it works a bit easier when you're that nuts, but this, this makes more sense to me. Like, I'd say I'm pretty aggressive on, on, on uh, CT side. Like, I'm not very patient. But at the same time, I, I would appreciate being able to, like, even in a match, show a consistent performance like this and feel good about it. So the same angle once again. Can he get two? Wow, he almost gets three again from that position. Virtually no help. There's been some good flashbangs to come through for him. But clearly, that's his, that's his like, pressure point. Like, that's where he loves to end up when all the action is coming his way he feels like he gets the most advantage there so that's an angle that i'm going to try to incorporate and see how that works for me versus the a ramp but we see he gets the information on the j hall first what's interesting for liquid is they, they haven't put a lot of pressure on the j hall they've used they've used it on the eco rounds but on the full rifle rounds they're coming up on the ramp a lot and we actually saw that with a liege from his demo he would always end up clearing out the J Hall, make sure no one's playing there, but end up getting to sandbags. Or, uh, yeah, just watching the bomb go down from the ramp. But never wrapping around A site this way. Now, of course, even if JKS knows that, he can't just forget about it. Tell me I have 110 frames in a demo on 1024. Yeah, it's the time. Right after the reload, when they start to walk back. Oh, man, let's... Okay, let's take a look. I mean, he must have, like, stellar utility damage at this point. 390, by far and away the highest. And 
Mr. 2K, holy. You want to play ball? JKS is on the court. He's laced up every round, ready for the rushdown. This time plays out the flash just perfectly. And it's always been two kills in the single sprays. Never had to really play around like a couple of different positions. I mean, I guess that's just the nature of it. He's had to earn his way to 20 on this game. There's been three rifle round, two or three Ks. Usually in these big halves that we see, it's like a nice eco ace in there. JKS not really had the one round with a 4K on the eco, but it was a round that ended up 1v1 and Liquid could have easily won it. As the Aussies would say, this this demo, this is this is a good one. This is a good one. Good demo. I like this one. So many quick and easy lineups. Some nice OP positions learned. Like this is a value pack. What I didn't learn. One thing I, I I'm not learning though, that I look I pretend not to see, is 1024 by 768 black bars. I, I look away. I look away. I've actually been playing 1680 by 1050 at 1610 res, um, and switching between that and native just because of performance. Holy shit, that was fast. I think maybe he shot off the first guy. And he gets that tag. Stop it. I think I don't think he gets this kill. That's Liaz. Did he really react to that second guide crossing? I mean, I'm fast, but that was fast. That was very fast. This man had some creatine for breakfast. Some creatine just snorted ginger and dumped some G fuel on his head. So he just quickly check quickly checks that smoke. Tell me they get nated by this again. Tell me like JKS doesn't even believe it. He's like to try to bait this out, right? <laughs> every every single time. For the first like three, four rounds, I'm like, wow, he's so smart the way he places a grenade. I think every time he hears a spam, he's like, I know where they are. It's free damage. Like, you're not gonna say, I mean, if we look back on this game to some of those rounds where he got the spray downs. Absolutely, that day damage he did, he laid himself up, right? He alley-ooped himself to getting those kills because they were already down to 60, 70 HP. And finally, a new position to end the half. I don't think he gets a kill from here, though. Yeah, battered from the side. For once, a leash comes through. Watch Liquid win this round. Okay, maybe they won't. Rough. Skydiving without a parachute. Okay. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? That was pretty good. I like that one. Yo, thanks for the recommendation. Thanks for all the comments, first of all. Of course, the only, I mean, if there were no comments, I would stop. I would disappear. I would not do this anymore. It's the only thing I care about. I don't care about, I actually don't care about how many views. Five to 10 comments, I feel amazing. I'm seriously, that's all I care about. That's all I care about. Uh, thank you, Flynn, for the recommendation. Listen, if someone pops up to me in the next comment section of this video, if someone pops up to me and it just stands out, I'm gonna be like, boom. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna jump in the next day. And I've got a backlog of other ones, but if something like this just pops out, I'm just gonna do it. So if you've got a game, you've got a half, you've got a YouTube title to sell me, Control C, throw it in the comments, okay? All right, fun times. Guys, love you guys. See you tomorrow afternoon. Stay sharp out there, okay? And uh, any questions, hit me up on Twitter. I'm streaming right now on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash launders. Peace out, everyone. Coach Lau out.